Can gum disease really cause me to have a heart attack? Hi, my name is Whitney and I'm a dental hygienist here to talk about the oral systemic link and how your dental health directly relates to your overall health. So let's talk by first answering the question, can gum disease really cause a heart attack? Technically the answer is yes. It can contribute to increasing your risk of having a heart attack. This is because gum disease increases your risk of heart disease and heart disease leads to heart attacks. It is a risk factor. If your gums are unhealthy, unhealthy gums can not only increase your risk of having a heart attack, but additionally, gum disease is related to a bunch of other conditions such as diabetes, kidney disease, Alzheimer's, and more. So why is this? How does this work? Like we said, your gums are directly related to your overall body's health, the oral systemic link. Your mouth is the gateway to your entire body. If there's bad plaque bacteria stuck on your teeth sitting on top of your gums, that plaque bacteria can travel all the way from the blood vessels in your gums all the way throughout your body. It's all connected. So now I'm gonna really sound like a true dental hygienist. I'm gonna tell you about the importance of flossing, but really the number one reason this bad bacteria often gets stuck on the gums is mostly due to not flossing or not cleaning between your teeth with a water flosser or interdental brushes. Other reasons this plaque bacteria is sticking on your teeth can be due to poor brushing techniques in general, not brushing correctly, and or not visiting your dentist's office regularly for professional cleanings. So whether it's from not flossing or not brushing or not getting professional cleanings, when that bacteria is just left there, over time that plaque bacteria will harden and it will turn into something we call tartar. And over time, that tartar will start going below the gum. And now this is no longer just bad bacteria, but now it's bad, bad bacteria when it turns into tartar. And studies have proven and shown that this bad, bad bacteria, this stuff is directly related to all those conditions I just mentioned. Heart disease, diabetes, kidney disease, Alzheimer's. The connection between gum infections with medical conditions in your overall body is a thing. So that's something to think about. Let it simmer, let it digest in your mind. Think about it. There's more to brushing and flossing than it just being an annoying task that you have to do every day. There's more to it than just getting fresh breath and having the perfect smile. Keeping your gums healthy and your mouth healthy from brushing and flossing and removing that plaque bacteria, it actually helps prevent serious health conditions. And before we go, one more thing, I'll get off my gum health rant quickly to talk about the teeth. We talked about the gums, but what about an infected tooth? A bombed out tooth that has a big cavity that keeps getting bigger and bigger. Let's quickly talk about how a tooth can also contribute to things such as a brain infection, which in rare cases can cause death. So again, with the oral systemic link, we all know about the gums now, keeping that plaque and tartar away by keeping them clean. But with teeth, of course, you also want to brush and floss and get professional dental cleanings routinely to keep your teeth healthy. In addition to limiting the amount of sugar you eat and rinsing with water throughout the day to lower the contact time that foods and drinks sit on your teeth to prevent cavities, which in turn will help prevent tooth infections. But if you have a tooth that ends up getting infected due to an untreated cavity, say you put off scheduling a filling appointment for too long, it can turn into a tooth infection. So to avoid allowing a small cavity to grow big enough to become infected and travel through your body, if you need a cavity filled, schedule your appointment now and then you're good. However, if you end up finding out that you have an infected tooth, you were unable to prevent it from happening, please know that having a tooth infection does not mean it will immediately travel to your brain. No, 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 no. If your tooth is infected, if you end up getting an abscessed tooth, the next step is to either get a root canal or get an extraction. I do have a video that goes over the pros and cons of each procedure if you'd like to learn more. But for the purpose of this video, the point is if you have an infected tooth and you do not get it treated, if you do not get the infection removed via either a root canal or an extraction, over time, this infection can grow and travel through your blood vessels. Again, similar to the plaque bacteria under your gums. Now it's tooth decay bacteria an abscess that's under there. And this bacterial infection can potentially travel to your cheeks and make them swollen or worst case scenario to your brain, which we really do not want. So in all, visit your dental office routinely to monitor the health of your teeth and the health of your gums. It's just like getting routine oil changes on your car, getting routine dental checkups and cleanings, keeping everything stable. It will not only set up your mouth to be healthy, free of infections, but it will also give you a much less chance of any dental surprises you may have in the future. I do have videos on how to prevent cavities, which I'll link in the description box, which will help you avoid getting any cavities leading to tooth infections, as well as my how to prevent gum disease video, which will help reduce your chances of plaque and tartar from sitting on your teeth for too long and reduce the chances of that bad bacteria from spreading throughout your body. I hope this video
video helped you. And I hope you know that this video was not meant to scare you. If you skipped a year of going to the dentist and now you think you're going to die, stop that. That is not the point of this video. The intention of this video is to just help educate and make you aware that over time, yes, gum disease and tooth infections can relate to those scary medical conditions, but it doesn't happen overnight. So don't freak yourself out. Just be aware and be preventative. I'll link all of my related videos in the description box. If you'd like to learn more, please like, subscribe, and turn on your notifications if this video helped you. And until next time, I'll see you on Instagram at Teeth Talk Girl. Peace, love, and teeth.